Hey y'all, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing, and I'm Mike D. Well, the other day, you guys know, I lost my anchor out on the reef fishing, which it happens. Well, luckily, I had one that I found a couple years ago at the jetties, been sitting in my shed. Well, today, I'm gonna start a new series called Tips and Tricks. And on this, on this first episode, we're gonna set up an anchor. See you in a minute. All right, guys, I'm here. I got my anchor, which I've had for a while, sitting in my, my shed. Went and had to get me a five foot of heavy duty chain, a few couplings, and all we're going to do to attach the chain to the anchor is we're going to go through here. Of course, you got to put the coupling through your, your chain. Just stick this through here and you screw it tight. I'm sure most of you have done this before, but. I'm sure there's some out there that have it. Make sure you put this down as tight as you can with a pair of pliers. I'm not even joking, because the last thing you want to do is for this thing to come loose when you're out there. So now you got that on there. And then you go to the other end of your chain. Put this in here like this. Put that through. And again, you're going to do the same thing. Get it down as tight as you can. Wrench it down with some pliers. Get it real tight. And now you got your chain connected to your anchor. All right, guys. Now we're going to attach the rope. I got myself 200 feet of a 3/8 inch poly strand braided with a poly core rope. Very strong very durable this is good stuff I know some people go and buy anchor rope at Walmart or at your local bait shop but I've had a hard time finding anything over 150 feet so I needed 200 so that's what I get. went down to Ace Hardware and they got this for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piece of shrink tubing on first and I will show you why in a minute but I'm sure you can figure out why now we're gonna attach this with a anchor hitch so basically you're gonna come through like this Leave yourself enough tag line and come through again. You're going to go around your main part through both loops like that. Set it down like this. And you're just going to do another loop like this. Bring them all down. And there is your anchor hitch. And I'll also put a step-by-step -step, uh, photo along with the video so you can look at it and go through it again. But there you go, that is your anchor hitch. And now, we're gonna slide this over. Uh, sorry for the noise next door. I live next to a uh, concrete plant and they constantly have trucks and stuff going through. So sometimes it's quite loud. So Set that down about right there. And then I got myself some zip ties. Here's just an added step that I do just in case. Because the last thing you want is this not to come loose. I'll clip that off right there. If you don't want to do this step, absolutely don't have to there we go one more zip tie right here just like that I'm gonna clip it off then I'm gonna shrink tube this and it'll be all set and all you got to do now is attach the other end to your anchor eye inside your boat and you've done an anchor. All right guys, well here's the finished anchor. I got my knot, got my couplings, my chain, got it all shrink wrapped so it's not going to slip when I go to pull it in or if I have to use the boat to pull it out of the reef or pull it out of the mud. Sometimes that happens so it's not going to slip on me. I got this all hooked up. 
So now I just gotta install it to my boat. And I'm ready to go fishing again. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped you guys out a little bit. I know most of you probably already know how to set up an anchor, but just in case you didn't, hopefully this will give you a little bit of insight in how to do it. Yeah. Like I say, you don't have to do everything I did. The zip ties you don't have to do. The the uh, shrink shrink tubing you don't have to do it's just something i do for added protection against the knot slipping well as always guys i appreciate you all for subscribing and if you haven't already please hit that little subscribe button the little bell for notifications and even hit the like button and shoot me a comment i really enjoy talking with you guys hit me up with a suggestion tell me something you'd like to see i'll be waiting to hear from you see you on the water guys tie lines y'all